bring it home, you can like with like a pointy finger. Look at that. Oh, you stick. Yeah, you nearly spilled the tea then. I did nearly spill my tea. tea. <laughs> it is right. We're gonna join the studio. Uh, okay, is everyone ready? ready? Yeah, ready. Okay, let's go. Today, we are spilling the tea on sea swimming and sewage with Protect Our Right to Swim campaigner Joe Bateman. The no swim red flags issued by the Environment Agency have been up throughout most of the summer holidays uh, after another sewage pipe burst in early August. This is in Exmouth we're talking about where we are. Southwest Water has said that businesses were not entitled to claim compensation, so businesses and residents in our town are now launching what is set to become the largest group legal action against a water company seen in the UK. These big spills have been going on since December 2023 when a sewage pipe burst and 240 tankers a day drove through Exmouth carrying up to 18,000 litres of sewage to Mayor Road sewage pumping station just 200 metres from the beach after a series of more major pipe bursts. Willow. <laughs> Let me just pull that one out. We're sharing a mic. We're sharing a mic. <laughs> so our local council um, passed a vote of no confidence in Southwest Water in February. Southwest Water is already facing legal action from residents and sea swimmer Joe Bateman, who is claiming the company has prevented her from taking a daily swim, daily swims, following multiple spills over the past year and is being backed by the Good Law Project. So we invited Jo for a cuppa to spill the tea on sea swimming and southwest water. Welcome Jo. Welcome Jo. Hello, and I'm really glad to be here. Good, did we, did we get, sorry, I'm sorting out the mic here if you can hear some clicking. Um, did we get all that right, all those? All the stuff about me was right. What I would say is the spills, which I would rather call dumps. Dumps. Mm. They're not going to make that sound accidental. Yes. They're not, they're very intentional. Yeah. So the sewage dumps have been going on for a hell of a lot longer than since 2023. Obviously at the end of 2023, there was a big issue with that pipe burst that you talked about, but this has been going on for years. I mean, it's been going on for decades. So, so that was just one thing to make it even worse than the, the way that you you know that yes. it sounded it's almost with. just it's just one they couldn't get away with yeah it exactly so big, it and then and the, the other thing was in august obviously what happened in august was bang slap in the middle of the, the peak yeah. holiday season and that was horrendous and the red flags were up and down like whores for us and yeah. you know, tom cat's pants yeah 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 exactly <laughs> and then you know the the beach lifeguards were out there with their inha in inhalers <laughs> <laughs> Hey, listen to the smell. <laughs> yes, <laughs> true. We were on the beach, you know, don't go in the water. It was like Jaws, mm. like something out of Jaws. It was, yeah. But it's awful as all of that was, that sort of period which did go on, on and off for, I don't, I don't know, probably about two to three weeks. Yeah. The red flags weren't up for most of the, of, of the holiday season. They were up, the fact that they were up at all is completely unacceptable, mm. but... You know, there was a lot of the time when people could swim. And actually, in a way, for me, that's one of the issues with what's been happening is, particularly with what happened in August, it shone a media spotlight on yeah. Exmouth and it made it look like it's only happening in Exmouth. Yeah. And it's not. Yeah. It really isn't. No, it's not. And, and of course, as you say, it's it, it may, the red flags may have been on and off. And us locals knew when, when it was. But once somebody's seen that on national news, if yeah. they've got a choice of going to Exmouth or going to another yeah. place in Devon, yeah. they're not going to choose Exmouth, are they? No, they're not. And people were saying at the time, and I had somebody say this directly to me, well, we're not going to come to Exmouth next year. <sighs> and that's really, really sad for lots of really obvious yeah. reasons for Exmouth. But my answer to it in... in, in in part would be well when the hell are you going to go then because this is happening right around the country sewage is being dumped into every river and every beach so where will you go yeah the, you do know you, do you, you need to understand the national nature of the problem yeah do you know how that's been allowed do you know the how that's been do you know anything about how that's been allowed to happen 
In terms of the spotlight being on eczema? In terms of the dumping, the dumping. that's been going on. It's some, I suppose a certain amount of dumping is probably legal. A certain Quite a amount. lot of it is legal. Yeah. Quite a lot of it is legal. But distinguishing, having the inside knowledge yeah. to actually know when one is legal and one mm. isn't is very, very, very difficult. Yeah. And yeah. South West Water are sort of masters of obfuscation, yeah. I would say. You know, there's, to me, having been on the receiving end of their letters and whatnot they you know there's a, a lack of honesty a lack of transparency lack of integrity yeah i know joe lysett did a big thing didn't he about because he, he's liverpool. in Burma, in, that's yeah. Right, in liverpool yeah. Yeah. he pretended didn't he that to, he was dumping sort of thing and he and he was sort of talking about um shareholders yeah i think and that's yeah. a big mm. big part of the problem isn't it a lot of the money is sort of being absolutely towards them. absolutely yeah well executives bonuses you know, um, so Susan Davy, who's the CEO of Southwest Water, last year her salary was around about half a million. I can't, I can't remember the exact figure, but you know, nobody yeah. needs that much money. No. But then no. she she turned down her bonus because oh, I think she good. was too. Huh? Yeah, but then the, with but with other sort of share option type things, they managed to increase her salary to eight hundred and sixty thousand. Yeah, so I won't have the bonus, but I'll have the pay rise. Yeah, yeah, exactly. yeah. Exactly. yeah to, to I'll make have the pay up rise and just dump a load of. Shit in the sea. Shit in the sea. <laughs> yeah. Because you, yeah. cause you, Joe, yeah, you never mind spill the tea. Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> spill the shit. Dump the shit. Because yeah. <laughs> Joe, you used to live in the Midlands, didn't you? Till about six years ago. Yeah, exactly. And yeah. did you come and walk the southwest coast path? Is I that did. right? I've, I've been stalking yeah. you but yeah. from Paul to Lyme Regis. Yeah, oh, I did. Lovely. I've always been. I still am a very keen walker. Yeah. So I had a full-time job in the Midlands that I loved and I just took a week's holiday to go walking, which is something I love to do. And I knew someone who'd walked the Southwest Coast Path and it kind of inspired me, oh, I'll just go and do a week of that. So one end of the Coast Path is in Pool. So I started in Pool, just me and my dog for a week. We walked um, to Lyme Regis basically in a week. And I just absolutely loved it. I'm not a sea, I wasn't a sea person. Yeah. I wasn't, I've never lived by the sea interested in the sea in particular you know um like going to somewhere hot on holiday and yeah. getting in the sea there yeah. but that was the extent of it so i was just absolutely blown away really by the the restorative power of yeah. that blue space and that was without being in the sea that was just walking beside it yeah. it was just phenomenal and it wasn't fantastic weather i had in one week i had the most horrendous rainfall and the most glorious sunny days in one week and it was because it was april it was never going to yeah, be you never like, know. You know, yeah. glorious all yeah. week long so i went home and i handed in my notice and put my house wow. on the market and that was that was april i did that week in april and by the end of august i was living in esma so complete life change then massive absolutely massive and yeah i mean <laughs> bit bizarre really yes. bit bizarre but I've never looked back. I've never, ever regretted what I did. And I didn't, still didn't swim at first. So I was down here in August 18 and I didn't start swimming until towards the end of 2019. And my sister had already been um, cold water swimming. Where she lives, it's all rivers because she doesn't yeah. live by the sea. But so she came down in no November and she like, she said, I'm not persuading you. I'm not persuading you, <laughs> you know, but honestly, it is amazing. <laughs> It's like, and I don't know what made me, she didn't force me, but I went in with her and I was hooked. From the first one? From that first swim. Yeah. I, the next day, after that first swim, next day I had a like a long hike planned. I ditched it so that I could go swimming instead. Wow. Just, and that's it, that's... And what was it, so do you think? What, do, how, what, is it easy to describe? I mean, we've done it, we've done a we've, bit. We've and done, it is, yeah, we, we agree. have. It is... There is a buzz. There is a buzz, I yeah, guess. it's... I don't know. I mean, you you could stand on the beach, especially obviously in the winter or in bad weather, and look at it and think, "What the hell am I doing it for?" Because mm. it just looks like so uninviting. Yeah. Um. But I've never looked done that. I've never looked at it and thought those things and not gone in yeah. because I know with absolute certainty that when I get out, I am going to have that buzz yeah. and it is going to change the rest of my day yeah so it's endorphins isn't it yeah. that is that happy that yeah. happiness it's like a mental reset yeah. in your brain somehow yeah it just helps and hugely uh, there's something about being in this actually in not on in, in it. it's in, being held isn't it your view is very different yeah. isn't it you look around and you're actually yeah. 
sort of in nature itself, aren't you? Yeah. The, the view you yeah. get of the beach is yeah, different from everything. being on the beach. Everything, everything. is so yeah. different, it's, isn't it? It's just fantastic. I love it. And I love when it's clear, which obviously is not really for a great amount of the year, especially with the sort of sand colour that we've got down here. But I love being able to look in and look out, you know, yeah. so I'll do a bit of crawl with my head in yeah. to get a look at what's underneath me. Sometimes that is so beautiful, yeah. you know, and then also then do some breaststroke with my head out of the water yeah. and get some of that view. It's yeah. just it's just so fantastic. I mean, yeah. and if anybody had ever said to me, you will do this, you will, I, I'd have laughed in their face. I am the last person, <laughs> crap swimmer, still am. <laughs> Still not a good swimmer. <laughs> Got a bit better. I did have a couple of lessons to make me better at crawl because I wanted to be able to put my head in. So I've got a little bit better, but I'm still rubbish, really. I'm ever so slow. And so if anyone had said to me, oh, yeah, you know, you'll do this, I'm like, no, don't be daft. I can't, I can't swim well and I don't like getting cold and wet. <laughs> and you're going to be leading a, a national campaign. That's hilarious, really. I mean, that's just like the most bizarre thing. So I've... how did all that start, Jo? Uh, well, in the beginning... <laughs> well, in the beginning... I, when I first decided that I was going to take Southwest Water to court, that was in January. I just submitted. This my... January 2024. Yeah, yeah. So not long. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> it's all gone. <laughs> yeah. You know, so it was just me I, through the small claims court, cost me 50 quid. I'd had experience with small claims court before, so I knew that it was very straightforward and very cheap if you're not claiming loads of money. Yeah. I was only claiming like just over 300 quid. So I, I did that, and I honestly, I thought in the beginning it would just be me and South, somebody from South West Water would turn up, and it wouldn't be a courtroom as such, we'd just go and sit in somebody's little office, because that's what happened the last time I, I did something in the small claims court. Yeah. Just be be me, South West Water person, judge, makes a decision, I lose, and we all go home. Yeah. You know, it's yeah. about making the, making the point. You were doing I it knew too. I wouldn't win. Yeah. And then... Um, I belong to a, a Facebook group, Escape, which is all about trying to hold South West, West Water to account and, you know, get rid, of the, get rid of the sewage dump. So I just, because I belong to that, I just put a little, little, little post in there saying what I'd done. And unbeknown to me, David Parsley, who's, I think, chief news correspondent for the Eye, he's in that group because he, was, ah. he lives in Exmouth. <laughs> oh, so okay. he saw it and then he, um, he did an article. And it, I don't, so obviously there was an article in a national paper, but at the same time, he, he got a photographer in and she didn't just do photos for the article. She also made a video and the video, I, I, this is, was my lack of understanding of social media at that time. She's making this, I said, what's she doing a video for? Why's that going to go? It's bloody viral on social media. <laughs> it was everywhere. Wow. And that, if that, <laughs> I hold her accountable for that and I'm extremely grateful yeah. to her. Abby Trailer smith her name is. Give her a shout out. <laughs> she was brilliant. She made a, it was a brilliant film, and it it made all this happen really yeah. effectively. Yeah. So yeah, brilliant. So yeah, I was going to say, where are you now with it, Joe? Where where is it? Where's it get? Where, where I mean, we where? know because we've signed everything. But you, can you tell? <laughs> because, because businesses have got involved now. Yeah. Right? Well, not so much. Yeah, that's, that's not so much. My, it is a separate case, but yeah. it, it's it's only. In a, in a sense only happened because of my case yes so, exactly yeah so in the beginning like I said it was just me in the small claims court and I was going to lose and then it went viral and some um Nikki Nichols who runs the sideshore community here yeah we did a little demonstration outside Exmouth Town Hall when Southwest Water were running a road show inside and I borrowed a huge like Terence the Turd placard for the demo. <laughs> and she, I, I didn't meet her at the demo, but she was there. But she came to my house afterwards to collect Terence the Turd. And so we're just standing on my doorstep having a little chat, handing over a turd. And <laughs> she said, have you got a lawyer? And I said, no, no. She said, well, I know somebody who, you know, a good friend of mine might be interested sort of thing, in yeah. taking up your case. So she got in touch with this person, I can't remember her name, but um, it wasn't her area of law. But she then passed me on to another lawyer, also lovely person, who actually gave me loads of advice and information about the small claims court, but also said, not my area of law. But she then passed me on to Lee Day in London, ah. top London law firm, and they decided to take my case, wow. which was just, and that's really what massively changed everything for me yeah. 
So yeah, thanks for them. Yes, exactly. Um, and what you, we know again, you've gained loads of support from local local people. What's your? Have. Did, did you started being recognised? Do people? It's happened a bit. Yeah, I mean, it does happen loads. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I work in a in a shop in the town. Which one? No. <laughs> Don't want to give them a shout out. But I get people come in the shop sometimes, or in other places, and people say, are you that woman? <laughs> yeah, that woman. For me, yeah. you're that woman with the Jack Russell that doesn't like my Jack Russell, <laughs> but they don't like each other. That, that's, yeah. yeah. I'm, that, I'm that woman to quite a lot of people in, with dogs. But, yeah, so, so uh, yeah, I have got recognised, which is quite funny. I mean, bizarre. You know, I'm living in a parallel universe, yeah. and I have been since about March. It's just, my life is crazy. Yeah. fantastic well yeah i mean it is. It, it, it is it is sometimes it is actually really overwhelming yeah because a lot goes on behind the scenes as well so um like you mentioned the, the petition so when that when i delivered that petition to downing street i had a great day it was all, all organized by the good law project it had my name and my face and my story on it but it, it wasn't my petition i just happened to be the person they asked to yeah to deliver it because they are supporting my my mm. legal case and we had such a fun day doing it at Downing Street and then going and doing some little bits of filming in Parliament Square. And it, it just was great. It was really great. But what people don't see is the lead up to that, everything that goes on. Because that was in the run up to that was also the few weeks just as the, the August dumps yeah. were happening. And those few weeks. And when something like that happens... I'm now in a position where people contact me and say, yeah. what do you think? Can you give us a soundbite? Or, yeah. you know, can you write this or do that or appear You're on You're the this? voice of it now, aren't you? And the face of it. Whether you yeah. want to be yeah. or not. Yeah. It, it, yeah, it wasn't from choice, but I am. And it is sometimes like, it is sometimes yeah. really overwhelming, yeah. actually. But I've made a decision that I'm just going to crack on with it now because it is so important. Yeah. It's so important. It isn't just about me and whether I can swim in the sea or not. It's about every single person. And this is the thing I keep, I keep sort of bringing it back to is the oceans are absolutely vital to the survival of the planet. And if people, water companies and other organisations continue to pollute them with impunity, then we're fucked. Actually. Yeah. Yeah. In a word, we yeah. are. We yeah. need to stop. Even people who live in the middle of deserts actually may not realise it, but they are dependent on the oceans. Yeah. They, the oceans produce oxygen that we breathe, yeah. as well as many other things. But, you know, yeah. they're fundamental. Yeah. So it's become such a much bigger thing. I, you know, I, sometimes I thought to myself, you know, I could just walk away from it now because it has gone so crazy. But I, can't, I, I feel a responsibility, actually. Yeah. I feel like it started, it's yeah. blown up in a way that I never imagined never imagined any of this happening but i'm just i'm just gonna roll with it now yeah. you know so yeah. i'm seeing it through to the bitter end whatever that good. is good yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah good. good but i think there is a certain amount you do start to feel that responsibility don't yeah. you because yeah. it's you know it's important it's important locally but it is it's, a, no, it's a globally huge, it's actually exactly. global you know yeah. and i think yeah. that's some well i've never had any negative reaction i the mo well, I say that, I, mean, I wouldn't care if I did, really, because I don't care what people <laughs> say. I've got too old and, you know, yeah. given up on that long ago. <laughs> so, yeah, most, I have had, I would say, 100% positive yeah. reactions, massive friends and family support, but from even, and from strangers and on social media and all of that, I think one person on guess where ex and few oh, oh god the place. trolling sites oh the trolling sites yeah. yeah one person said something along the lines of go back where you came from because like he must have known that wow. i was from the Midlands, yeah. you know yeah, yeah nice bloke but i don't i mean i don't give a shit i yeah. actually yeah. i really don't care he can piss think right about. off well exactly yeah. <laughs> and you know if that's i have had I, I mean i've now got on instagram which i never did in the beginning because i I'm a boomer. I don't, you know, I don't understand. Don't do the gram. Media. No, don't. But I, it was after I, I appeared on this morning and they were asking me how people could follow me on social media. And I said, well, I don't do social media. <laughs> <laughs> what about Instagram? No, don't do that. <laughs> so I went home. <laughs> My daughter was living with me at the time. And she said, Mum, you've got to do, you've got to do Instagram. I said, no, I can't do that. And she said, well, I'll do it for you. So she ran it for me 
pretend, just pretending to be me yeah. for months, yeah. you know, and I'd say, oh, look, there's this. Can you stick this on my Instagram? I haven't, didn't have a clue how to do it. Yeah. Anyway, she's moved to London now. And she obviously, she could still do it. She could still do it for me. But I have gradually, like, picked things up. Yeah. You know, you do, don't you? That's I'm not great. Yeah. I, mean, I can pick things. I, up I can do enough, along. and I've got over a thousand followers on there. Yeah. So, which is bonkers to me, absolutely bonkers. Yeah. And everything that I see is so so positive. Yeah. So, yeah, it's amazing. So, what's going to happen from here? So the petitions. So, yeah, been the petitions been handed, handed in, in, and but it's continuing to gather signatures. You can still sign that petition. Yeah. So if anybody wants to, we'll put all the links yeah. on our podcast yeah. show notes. We'll do that. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So yeah, that'd be great. People can still sign it. Um. So where we are is, my. So I sent put my original claim into the small claims court in January. When Lee Day, the lawyers, took the case over, they looked at what I was claiming for, and they said, no, most of that we're not going to bother with because we don't think we stand a chance. What we're going to focus on is that 10 day period over yeah. December 23, January 24, when the Fear Park pipe burst. And there was a, just a 10 day period when I didn't swim, couldn't swim. Yeah. And that meant that my claim was for £60 because I had claimed £6 for each day that I couldn't swim. And that was what it would cost me if instead of swimming in the sea I went to a pool yeah LED charges six pounds there's no comparison to me there's no point going to a pool no. it doesn't do what what the sea does it doesn't do what the co- it's not cold enough no. you know but I thought that's a good you know otherwise how, how do you put a monetary value on a sea swim yeah it's really difficult so yeah. I did it like that so so Lee Day rewrote my case and it was a claim for 60 pounds which really proved the point that this is not about the money. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So they, they did that. And that was before a recent ruling in the Supreme Court, Manchester Ship Canal versus United Utilities. And the Supreme Court ruled in favour of the Manchester Ship Canal, enabling them to take legal action against United Utilities and effectively changing the law. Um, I mean, I'm not a lawyer, but so... Maybe, you know, I'm not necessarily telling this in the most accurate way, but it changed the law so that basically when water companies dump sewage, even though a lot of the time it's legal, whether it's legal or not, it's causing a public nuisance. It is, and isn't it? that is what <clears throat> we are now claiming for. Right. So that has enabled them to up my claim to over 300 days. And that's 300 days... The, the, this is, so the lawyers have gone have spent hours and hours and hours crawling through spreadsheets of data. I mean, they took all that off me, which was fantastic. Oh, yeah. brilliant. And they've, they've, they've looked at that and they've said it's over 300 days in the last four years. Now, that's nearly a year out of four years. Wow. That is isn't it? disgusting, isn't it's, it? It's disgusting, you know. Yeah. Really, really yeah. disgusting. And, yeah. 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 They need so to, it's just making them accountable, isn't it? It's making them realise that, and it is all for profit. Yeah, absolutely. I mean that, that's what absolutely. they're in it for. They just it's just profit, yeah. isn't it? It's it's profit and to to feed the shareholders really. Yeah. And the Manchester Ship Canal ruling, the judge wrote quite a long report and he very I think it was a he actually. I shouldn't say that without knowing for sure, but I believe it was a he. Anyway, he wrote um very very plainly that the failure to invest in infrastructure was a very significant cause of what was yes. happening. And so all that kind of thing has now massively backs up my, my case has been transformed by yeah. this. So yeah. Lee Day had rewritten my case once. Now they've rewritten it again <laughs> because <laughs> the law's changed. Yeah. So they've, that has been submitted to the court and Southwest Water will have seen it. And they now have until the 25th of October to respond. And then the court will, I don't know, do whatever they do yeah what, well you know yeah. they're not going to respond till midnight on the 20 you know 24th 25th are they oh, like, they won't they won't respond until the 25th yeah yeah absolutely yeah at five o'clock yeah it'll be yeah the deadline the, the, the absolute deadline, deadline. Yeah, 100%. so have you got any advice for anyone else in the country that's having similar problems with their water company or anywhere in the world because obviously the podcast goes anywhere what would what would you say how would you start i think <clears throat> believe in yourself that you have power to make change because Look what I did, you yeah. Know, and I never even meant to or tried to sort of thing. If, if something it doesn't even it could be anything that you feel passionate about, 
if you feel really passionate about something, a cause dear to your heart, then just do something, whatever is within your own personal sort of remit, your own personal capability, and that will be different for every single person. Yeah. You just, I think we, we just have to keep shouting about yeah. the things that are important to us. Yeah. And even if it doesn't blow up into something like-minded, it doesn't matter. Even if it's yeah. just you on your own, you know, that's really important. I think I, I did what I did because I have always had a really strong sense of justice. And nothing, I've never done anything like this before, but in very small ways, I've always fought for justice. Yeah. Whether that's been, um, you know, getting signatures for a petition or taking somebody to court in the small claims court. Um, that was, that's the most sort of extensive thing really that I've done. E even in shops, getting, getting bad service or shoddy goods mm. or, you know, paying for, so paying for something that you don't get. Yeah. Which on a very small scale is just yeah. buying a piece of clothing that falls apart straight away or whatever. And really that's all South West Water was. It was about we're pay me, I'm paying for a service. Actually, I'm not. No, I, I know you're not. I know you're not. I, know you're not. <laughs> <laughs> I was. I was paying for yeah. a service that I wasn't getting. And that's what an awful lot of people are saying. We're not getting what we're paying no. for. Yeah. So, yeah, it's justice. Yeah. So, so just going back to that, Bill, so are you paying anything for your water now? You just I pay the non-sewage bit. Yeah. It's quite good fun, actually. So yeah. what I do, and they, they don't seem to be chasing me. Well, they haven't. They don't seem to be. They aren't. And I don't know whether that's because there is such a spotlight on Southwest Water anyway, or whether it's me and they don't want to rock the boat even put more. the spotlight yeah. back mm -hmm. on me because that just yeah. make more trouble. That would yeah. backfire on them big yeah. time. Yeah. So they're just leaving me alone. So I last paid the sewage. I stopped paying it early last year. And then I caved when I started getting all these threats of bailiffs yeah. and county court yeah. judgments. And I caved in. And I thought, no, come on, you know, have some balls, get a grip. and <laughs> Have some do ovaries. It. Do it, yeah, exactly, thank yes. you, that's a much better way of putting it. Have some ovaries, get a grip and <laughs> go back to that. And I, I thought to myself, and I, I recognise that I'm in a very, very privileged position here. I own my own home mm. and I don't have a mortgage. And I know that for the rest of my life, I will never need to borrow money. So I thought... What they could take out county court judgments against me, and I don't give a toss because it's not going to change anything. I know I've got about 10 credit cards filed away that I never use, yeah, that have still got that are still valid, yeah. You know, I'm never going to apply for another one, I'm never going to use the ones I got as they go out of date. I just bin them, yeah. but they go their history, you know, yeah. And that you thought this is wrong to me, yeah, yeah, this is wrong. I'm gonna, yeah, so I thought I'm gonna it. do it. So I did it, started doing it again, and then, um, I just like this isn't enough, it's not enough. So that was when I decided that I would take the, the legal action. So I haven't paid my sewage now, I think, since, well, last year, towards the end of last year, maybe maybe September time, about a year. About a year I haven't paid the sewage mm, yeah. part. So you're paying for all everything else, but just not the sewage. Yeah, and that and I would say to people, because lots of people say, we should all stop stop doing this, and people, but people get nervous. Yeah. They get scared of threats of bailing. Yeah. Quite right, I totally understand Yeah, yeah it. especially if you've got so, financial difficulties or you've got absolutely. other things going on in your life. Yeah. It's huge, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. But what people can do, this is what I would, this is what I would suggest, and obviously it's up to people, but the, um, can't see a direct debit. So you've got 100% control over what you pay and when you pay. And then stop paying. You can see on your bill, it's very clear how much is sewage and how much yeah. isn't. So just stop paying the sewage bit. And eventually, it will probably get to a point where you they say, well, we're, we're taking recovery action against you. And you can cave in then and pay it and then start all over again. Yeah. You make All you're doing then is making this. It's just, it's annoying for them that you even want to pay yeah, the bill. It's admin they for them. They want to have to do yeah. a direct debit, minimal admin. So just doing that, like doing it and then caving in, paying, doing it again, caving in, paying... Isn't Nothing it? will happen to you. Yeah. You won't get bailiffs. You won't get county court judgments. But it will be a pain in the ass for South yeah. Water. Yeah, and that's what you want, isn't it? Yeah, and it, but it's it's really gathered momentum, hasn't it? So from from that, and I th and I think then people feel a bit more um, that they want to they want to get involved, and yeah. they, once they see other people getting involved, Absolutely. once it, makes, it gathers it does momentum, make a difference. Mm -hmm. yeah. it really does. It yeah. really does make it a does. difference. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Anything else? Anything, Anything else, else? Joe? 
I don't know. I don't I've just got a question more about, that. yeah, have you ever sip of your tea? Well, I just ask you this one question more about sea swimming. How did you feel? Because Lou only learned to swim in your I was 50. 50s. I'm 56 now. I, I learned to swim at 50. And a lot of people are afraid well of the sea itself. A lot of yeah. people we know want to go in, but they're yeah. afraid of the sea itself. So how, how did you get, did you have that fear or did you... I wouldn't Get say I had that fear and such, but I didn't like being out of my depth. No, I know. I know. Now I love it. Fantastic. Is that just confidence doing it more? Yeah, I think doing it for so long now, because it's five years now. Five years. So mm. I think I, and because I always swim, well, almost always swim in roughly the same place on Esmond Beach. So, and I've really got to know, and I, I never take this for granted, I'm never complacent about it, but I, I have. A level of understanding of what happens in that yeah, bit of water, water yeah. if you like. You can still get really strong currents, you know, it's, I have huge respect for the ocean, even there yeah. where it's actually on the south coast relatively protected. Um, well, I mean, the island I like, but went out to swimmers on two separate occasions just yeah. last week yeah. because it's yeah. spring tides and the currents yeah. were really, And they, they, they got they were really ripped strong. out, right out, didn't they, as yeah. well? They were very lucky. Well, yeah. Yeah, yeah, but again, I think the more knowledge that you have of, of the area where you're going to swim, the better. Yeah. Always swim with a tow float. Um, if you can, swim where there are beach lifeguards. But They you know, finish the end of September then, as yeah, well, don't next they? Next weekend is the end here. Yeah. So, yeah, so you can't always do that. You can, if you have a tow float that's a dry, like a dry bag, you can have a phone in it. You know, if the worst came to the worst, you could have a phone on you. Yeah. So if people are really worried and want to take you know, those are like the utmost precautions that you can really, then those yeah. are things they can do. Or go with friends. Go a with lot of people, people go. It's, it's so yeah, social, it's isn't it? And that's social mental thing. health as well, isn't yeah. it? People. I'm an antisocial old bag and I actually like going on my own. Yeah. <laughs> I started with a group and I loved it and they really got me into it and they taught me a lot about the water and safety and so on. And that was fantastic. But then the pandemic put paid to that. Yeah. Yeah. And then I, I continued to swim and realised what I get out of it on my own. Yeah. And it's, so, I just say every time, it's just pure mindfulness yeah. and meditation. I've tried to do mindfulness in the past. I can't do it. Yeah, I, I don't know. I have a busy brain. brain. You're really yeah. good. I have, it's practice. It's really hard. Yeah. I, have I, to I've, do it, but... I haven't yeah. managed it. So, yeah. But, I, but it's sea, easy out there. It's easy out there yeah. in the sea, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. It's just, I never think about anything but no. the sea. But the, the, yeah, see in the cold. But you have to think. Happening yeah, you have to think about head. it. Yes. literally, shit's happening. Yeah, literally, yeah. shit's happening. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. It really is. Uh, but nothing bothers me when I'm in the water. Yeah, and there's so much Huge. research. Even we know that, but there's so much research now to back that up as there well, is, isn't there? It's yeah, coming more and more. Yeah, 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 yeah. exactly. Yeah. Which is which is brilliant. Yeah. Oh, Joe. Well, thank you so thank much you. for coming and thanks for walking around the corner. Having a couple. <laughs> really, you've been absolutely brilliant. We will put your petition and any any other relevant things, Instagram and brilliant. all that, we'll put on our podcast sh podcast show notes. And if anything else, we'll keep an eye on what's going on. If that you want to come and tell us anything else that happens, well, um, you, you follow that. me on Instagram. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'd say fantastic. That. So many things I never thought I'd say. Like there somebody you go. messaged me the other day and said, "Can I borrow your turd?" Because I now have a very large. <laughs> Inflatable turd. You could have sat here and today in to it. Borrow him. Yes. He, he's been te named Terence after the original placard. Oh, brilliant! Oh, yes, inflatable Terence. He came to the House of Parliament with me. Fantastic. So <laughs> they fitted in there, it. wouldn't yeah. they? <laughs> <laughs> they wouldn't let him into Downing Street. Oh. No, they said it might be seen as a slur on the government. Even though the bloody petition was about shit. Yeah. I wasn't allowed to take him yeah. in, and I had a shit on the back of my t-shirt. <laughs> Not a real one. Yeah. <laughs> you hadn't you rolled in the <laughs> just gone into grass. the sea. <laughs> they said I couldn't have because there's press in there taking pictures of one, so you can't you can't right. that can't be seen. Well, I didn't have anything else. I had to borrow a waistcoat off somebody to, to go and have the going in your bra. <laughs> <laughs> that would be brilliant. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Oh, oh, thank you so thank much, you very Joe. Much, Joe. It's, been, it's been good fun. <laughs> I've really glad I met you. <laughs> <laughs> mm. oh. So next weekend. That's when you start the next. Yes, yes. it is. Sa but this Saturday, Sunday, Sunday. This Sunday. So this should go out. This, this is going to go out Sunday. On Sunday. We thought it should be. We go and turn this. Right. Yeah, we, we always like to, you know, start with 